welcome students in my new tutorial and my today's topic is how to analyze data and what are the different techniques to analyze data again this topic is based upon it skill 402 so coming directly to the topic analyzing data is a process to extract useful information for making effective decisions see data is present in a vast nature we have to analyze it so that we can take proper decisions based upon that analysis the spreadsheet is one of the best software used for data analysis so whatever spreadsheet software we are using it could be excel it could be libri office calc or it could be open office calc whatever spreadsheet we are using all can be used to extract useful information for effective decisions. It is used to retrieve, correlate, explore and visualize data to identify patterns, trends and relationships. So spreadsheet is very helpful for performing all these functions. So our topic what we will be covering now, consolidating data. Consolidate is a function used to combine information from multiple sheets of the spreadsheet into one place to summarize the information so consolidate is a function which is used to combine information from multiple sheets if suppose student is getting marks in different terms and that marks are present in different worksheets so with the help of consolidate feature we can combine all three terms into a common term that means to total the marks or to Compare all three terms, that which term is the best one. It is used to view and compare variety of data in a single spreadsheet for identifying trends and relationships. So if whether we have data spreading in different worksheets, so with the help of consolidating data feature, we can combine all that worksheets and our data will be visualized in one worksheet only so that it's easy for us to compare or to analyze now with the help of practical i think this concept will be more clearer to you so directly i am taking towards the practical so as i was explaining in my current example i have opened three scenarios of different students term one term two and term three i am using the software libreoffice calc and under uh, one of the spreadsheet, I have typed term 1, term 2, term 3. You can also do the same thing. Any marks you can add like this. Like in term 1, I have added uh, like 90, 85 fictitious names I have given. Then one column I have given empty. Then in term 2, again I have given with different marks. I just copied. Uh, I can change the marks here. Suppose um, let it be 80, something like this little bit changes i can do okay and in term three what i had made the situation the triple a is present triple b is there triple c was absent so i have not added triple e triple f only one student was absent i want to see now that how i can add all the terms data okay as just now I was explaining about consolidate data feature. So that same I am I'll be using here. So for using that, what I'll do. First of all, I want to add one new sheet. So adding one new sheet is very simple. I can right click it. Here insert sheet is there. Uh, I want a new sheet after this current sheet. Name I can give. Suppose I have given consolidate, click on OK. So a new sheet is there. This is my mark sheet. And this is now I am making consolidate. OK. So after using, now I have moved towards the new sheet, consolidate. And here I will go to data. I will just search where is consolidate is. So here is consolidate. You could see here. I will click upon this. And as a result, consolidate dialog box will appear. 
now whatever is there you can delete this consolidation ranges i have to add all three ranges where my data is present that means mark sheet so what i'll do source data source data means which data i want to add here so i'll click here this one shrink i'll click i'll directly go to marks where my sheets are present the marks of the students are present i'll click it here so here i'll do i'll select this one term one i'll just select like this and then i'll click on expand this will appear and once it is appearing here click on add so it is added on the top okay now i'll click on once again i'll shrink it now i'll select the second option that means term two marks expand it is here it is coming here i'll just click on add here add then again what i'll do i'll shrink it i'll go here i'll just select it like this then expand it is appearing this side it is appearing so i'll click on add so all three ranges are added here you could see here on the top the function is there different functions are there just now i want to sum it i want to sum the percentage so that i could know the particular student has is getting how many marks if all three marks of all three terms are added so after adding all the ranges consolidation ranges i'll see what the option is having so it is having row labels and column labels what it means that from this table it will take column names column labels and row labels row label means the name of the students like left side so i'll click on both then one more option is there link to source data what it means link to source source data that if i'll do any changes i'll change the marks then the final output will also be changed that i'll show you just now i'll click on link, link to source data and then where i want to copy the result that also is very important so i'll click this i want to show the result this side somewhere here i'll click it here i'll expand it and then i'll click on okay now see the result so now you could see here name and percentage so triple a 265 if I'll check here, triple A 90, 95 and 80. So overall it will come 265. BBB 250, 85, 80, 85. So it's giving the right result. Now one of the student, triple C, I think he has only given term 1 and term 2. So he has not given the term 3. So only the marks will be added of two terms just check it you could see here triple c is only getting the marks 194 that is again two term marks you can easily compare in this way so one scenario is already clear to you i have shown you how to do this you can use different different scenarios yes one more thing i want to show you the same thing with different scenario for that what i'll be doing I'll be using the same options, data, consolidate, here consolidate ranges are already selected earlier, only what I'll do, I'll change uh, the place where I want to show the result, suppose I click here shrink and I'll select this one, and only I want to explain you about like link to source data earlier it was selected, now I want to unclick it. So just see what happens. Now you will see it is same. It is showing same. Then what's the difference? By clicking also the same answer, by unclicking also the same answer. Now I want to do some changes in the marks. Under triple A, suppose where 90 was here, I want to do 80. So that 10 marks difference will be there. I'll go to consolidate. You could see here. On the top, 
it's becoming 255 it's updated but at the bottom it's not updating that only the feature i was wanting to tell you that if i go to consolidate and under here if i don't click on link to source data then it will not update in my first situation this situation it was linked to source data so whatever changes i was doing there it was changing here also but in the second situation link to source data was not selected okay so that's why it was not updated so i hope i am clear with this so my dear students now i'm taking the second scenario in this now i'll be using different worksheets earlier i was using the same worksheet and in that particular worksheet i have posted the marks of the students in different places now i am using the different worksheets to show the profit of different years you can also do the same copy it and in your worksheet you can paste it so i have just used the fictitious company r and r month wise profit is there and this profit is of year 2019 okay in sheet 2 the same i have copied you can also do the same and then profit uh, you can change like sheet 1 it was like this here you can change and in sheet 3 i have only given the profit of feb march and april uh, let's assume that jan and may there was no profit in 2021 okay so what i'll do i'll make a new worksheet see combination of worksheets make a workbook so these are different worksheets so i'll be clicking on right click insert sheet i want to insert new sheet after current sheet name i can give any suppose consolidate profit it could be any name some meaningful name i could give click all okay so you could see here new sheet is been added here also i'll do the same thing data consolidate now this i have to delete i think the process is now very much clear so i'll be moving little faster now uh shrink then uh, directly sheet 1 i'll select this and add again shrink now clicking on sheet 2 selecting the data and add again shrink sheet 3 selecting the data and add after doing this rest of the steps you know very well uh nothing you have to do row labels we need column labels we need this is again the column labels month and profit and left side whatever is coming jan feb march april may towards the left row labels so we need all and uh now where we need so i'll click on this uh, copy results to this one this option i'll click on okay i'll go to consolidate profit and somewhere here i want this so that particular cell you have to press and then click on oh uh, yes link to source data that is very important just to update the data i'll click it click on okay the same way it has added the data and now you know how to use the consolidate feature so this is already present in your it skill 402 the first one and not only this you can use different features also one more i'll try to explain you again i'll click on data and then i go to consolidate till now i was using sum here you can use even uh, max to find the maximum profit and uh, rest sheets uh, selection is same this i can change consolidate profit uh, suppose i want the data now here and uh, rest i'll check the options which is okay so the maximum profit was 8000 in all three years okay month wise so that also you could check 
So like this, you can use different, different features. I hope I'm clear with this tutorial. So just practice this. And uh, if you like my explanation, then please do like, share and comment. And also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Meet you soon in my next tutorial.